hello everyone so today I'm going to show you how to get this glossy glowy skin type look with that pop of neon on the eyes so if it sounds like something you might be interested in then please keep watching so I've already moisturized my skin um please excuse my spots I am breaking out a little bit god knows why but you know things like this happen so I'm just gonna take some foundation and I'm using the ordinary serum foundation I actually love this um, and I'm just gonna dot that around my face, my skin. And I'm just gonna blend that out with a buffing brush. This one is BH Cosmetics. So I'm gonna dip back into the foundation on the back of my hand and then just blend all that out using stippling motions. Now my foundation's on so I'm just taking a bit of concealer and I'm using the Essence Matte Camouflage Concealer and I'm just going to pop a couple of dots underneath my eyes, not too much at all and I'm going to pop a bit on the chin, on the nose and on the middle of the forehead. That's just to brighten up and apply a little bit extra coverage because the foundation that we used was um, a light wash of colour so I think maybe medium if you built it up enough. Um, so I'm just going to go back in with my original buffing brush and blend that out. So now while that's blended out, I'm just going to bronze slash contour. Um, I'm using the Premark Foundation and Contour Stick and I'm just going to apply that on my cheekbones first and then I'm going to use that same brush again to blend out. Oh hell. just bring that around a little bit notice how I actually apply it a bit further up than my natural cheekbone because when I blend it out it'll naturally fall where my cheekbone is with the motion of blending so I'm just making sure that goes right back to the hairline also my hair is so greasy it needs a wash so if I get any in my hair I'm not bothered really and then I'm just gonna take a little bit on the brush so just dab it on and just a tiny bit up here. Oh, I said a tiny bit. It's not really tiny, is it? And just blend that out. And then again, I'm just taking some on my nose. I'm not contouring with it. I'm just rubbing it all over. And then bringing it to the cheeks, just whatever's left, not too much because it is quite a dark colour. So next I'm going to apply blusher. Right, so I've used a lot of cream blushes and nothing beats lipstick for me. <laughs> this is just a really cheap um, Makeup Revolution Pro, Pro Lipstick, matte nude in the shade Naked. So I just warm it up on my finger and I just tap it on, on the cheeks like that. And a little bit on the nose as well. I don't know what it is about using lipstick but it never takes away coverage for me and it blends out so easily so again I'm taking that exact same brush and just blending that in. Just look at how pretty that looks. Now I'm just going to use some powder um, to set my eyelids under my eyes um, and any areas where I get particularly oily which you know if you've been if you've watched me before you'll know it's everywhere. So um, I'm just going to set my face. Tiniest bit in this area here which is where I have a lot of pores and I get really really oily in that area. 
and then a bit down the nose chin and just in between my eyebrows there okay so then what I'm going to do is spritz my face I'm going to use the revolution purifying priming water with cannabis sativa um, and I'm just going to give that a good spritz now what that does is it'll blend all the makeup hair and it'll provide some of that hydration that we've lost with the powder but it also creates a nice base for us to apply highlighter on too. So I've got the Essence the Highlighter in number 10 Heroic and I absolutely love this shade. So I'm going to take it on my finger and then just dab over the areas where my face naturally reflects light. Of course that's here because we are going for that really glowy type look. Swearing at you, sorry. Above here. On the bridge of the nose, all the way around. And just right on the tip. Right, so that's my skin done. So next we're gonna go into eyeliner. So I'm just gonna take black felt up eyeliner. I'm just using this open glory one. Um, and I'm just going to line my eyes as I normally would. I've got a tutorial on this on Instagram so check that out if you're unsure about how to do that wing so I'll probably just speed this bit up. Okay so I've lined my eyes, they look absolutely shocking, they're not even but I don't really care. So next step we're going to take a neon pigment, now mine is just the Stargazer. Yep, Stargazer, eye dust and I don't know what colour it is, I think it might just be green, it might just be called green. So I'll pour a little bit into the cap. Right, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to show you this or I'm just going to get green everywhere. Oh. A bit into the cap and then I'm going to take that original priming water that we used and just spray that in the cap. I'm using quite a fair bit of water um, because the first couple of times I've done this I haven't used enough and it's been a bit bumpy. And it's just trial and error until you get a nice liquidy consistency. Oh my god I've got it everywhere. I've just mixed it until it looks really 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 liquidy. You're not going to be able to see it but it, it should just be like water. Um, coloured water that's the texture that I like anyway I'm using like an eyeliner brush type thing it is really really slim and I'm just going to draw above where the black line is like so and I'm only doing it about a third of the way in if you see so I'm just going to do the same on this eye and for this bit just be as messy as you need to be don't worry because we can always go back in with that black eyeliner and sort things out Right, so I'm back, everything is dry, um, I've done my eyebrows as well. If you would like me to do another brow tutorial, I will do one for you. I'm starting to use some new products, add a couple of products into the routine, um, and I'm liking them this way a lot better, so let me know if you want that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my black eyeliner, because as you can see, I have gone over it. Oh god, that wouldn't open. I have gone over that line a little bit so I'm just going to re-intensify so now I've done that I'm just going to dip my finger into the pigment taking little bits of colour at a time and I'm just going to apply that on the inner corner Nothing fancy or technical about it, just finger in the pigment on my eyelid. Right, so that's on, so now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, just put some mascara on, I didn't use lashes in the photo that I posted. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes, put on some mascara, and I'll be back to start on the lips. 
Right, so mascara is on. I always find that mascara makes the biggest difference in, out of any makeup product ever. But that's probably because I've got tiny little rodent eyes and tiny little rodent eyelashes, so that's probably the reason. So next we're moving on to lips. Now, I was on Amazon just scrolling through. Uh, I typed in lip liners because they're my obsession, like I love them. And I found the Rimmel ones, a pack of three for like three pound, I think. And it was the um, liner in cappuccino. I used to use this all the time, like when I was in college and stuff. But it's a really, really gorgeous colour, so I'm just going to line my lips with this. So sorry for this hair, it's really annoying. I'm just going to apply it to the outer portions of my lips. So here, feather it in here, and up here. So once they're filled in, I'm then going to take a lip gloss. Now, Revolution release some lip glosses. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, Shimmer Bombs. I think they're probably dupes for... Um, the Fenty Beauty ones and I bought them in like four colours because another one of my obsessions is lip gloss. So I'm just going to apply this one on which is called Light Beam. Also they taste like watermelon which I love. They smell amazing. And this is the finished look for that nice glassy glossy skin and a pop of neon. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if there's anything else that you'd like to see, for example, another brow tutorial, anything like that, just let me know in the comments. Uh, and I hope you're all staying safe. Take care. Bye.